Welcome to another quick video tutorial for Paddy for Lightroom. This one about how to use the mouse most uh, effectively if you're inclined to do so. I have a normal mouse here with two buttons and a wheel in the middle and the wheel is also a button so it's a three button mouse um, and a wheel in the middle. Um, what I'm gonna show you here is what I assigned to these keys. I go to the mouse assign mouse in the paddy menu and I have uh, you can see here we have a wheel up, wheel down, the middle button and the right button. The left button cannot be mapped because it's so so often used in, in all kinds of programs that it seems silly to add it here. And what I did is I um, for wheel up and wheel down I mapped uh, moving the selected slider up a medium amount. This is in the select and move sliders in our function select but, uh, box select slider up and wheel down is select, selected slider down medium amount and then for control wheel up I have this for small and uh, selected slider down uh, wheel down is selected slider down a small amount. In addition uh, on the middle button I have uh, in the same functions here select and move slider um, selecting the next basic slider and control middle button um, the previous basic slider. This is actually this is going to allow us to cycle through Lightroom sliders without actually clicking on them. And on Alt right button, I have temperature select. Um, to uh, you'll see in a second what what why I need this, but it basically will allow us to do all this without even clicking on any slider anywhere. So, a uh, quick example here. Click on temperature. Now we're on the temperature uh, slider. I move the wheel up. Go up uh, by a big amount here that I set. If I do control, it goes up by some. Uh, goes down in this case by a small amount. 50 is small here in my setup, and uh, 250 is large for the temperature. This works with any slider. Clarity, big one up is 10. Small one up is one. Um, up, you know, can go down here if you're so inclined. And HSL, same concept. I'm holding down the control button. It moves a little bit um, by moving the wheel. I'm not holding down the control button. Um, I just move the wheel and you can see how it moves larger amounts. Now let me go up here, click on temperature. Um, what I can do now by a middle mouse click, meaning I actually click the wheel down, is I move to the next slider. Here I'm in tint, exposure. So now with just the wheel and a click, I can move through my basic sliders. I can move up by control middle button and move my sliders. What's even cooler is that this works without the panel. Here I am and now you can see where this uh, uh, alt right mouse button comes comes in handy. I do alt right mouse button, I am in the temperature slider, I move the temperature slider by moving the wheel or a small amount by moving, moving the wheel, done with this, next. Tent, don't want to do anything with tent, exposure, want to maybe down a little bit, there you go. Uh, next, sorry, that was previous. I held, I held down the control key here. Mac, next, highlight, no. Uh, fill light, no. Black, maybe I want to do some black clubbing here, etc. So I can work in full screen mode using all the sliders with just one finger essentially on my mouse. And so if you move to the next picture, um, here's our friend again from previous videos. Uh, now to start, to know where I am, I hold Alt, right mouse button. In the temperature and I start it again for all the basic sliders, go to the next slider and so on. You see where this is going. Very cool, very neat little setup um, that I'm now using at my laptop quite a bit um, when I don't have my big MIDI controller with me.